volume of cylinders. And a cylinder, I have several different examples here. Here are some cylinders. I would like you to write down one example in your notes of a cylinder. Um, we've got here, I believe these are some cups, um, some uh, compressed air. Here are some soup cans, and here's a hay bale. So you need to think of a different one, and I'm going to be sure to ask that. I'm writing it down in my notes right now. You need an example of a cylinder. So that's one of your secret problems. You come up with another example. You can think of a lot. There's tons of them out there, so I'm not too worried about that. Now, when we're finding the volume, we want to find out what filled it up. Now, um, we know that for a rectangular prism, we took the area of the base and took it times the height. And for a triangular prism, we took the area of the base and took it times the height. And we're going to do the same thing for a cylinder. So if you have your formula sheet, um, I believe that that is number, let me look here quick. That is going to be number nine. So number nine for volume of a cylinder, we're going to take the area of the base again. And here's the base right here. That's the base. And we know that that's a circle. So, excuse me, so to find the volume is the area of the base, which is pi r squared times the height. So that's a pretty easy formula also. Our volume formulas are all fairly simple. Um, so when I'm finding the volume, I have to be sure that I have the radius. So I'd like you to jot that down also. Be sure to use radius. We don't want to use the diameter. That was a pretty bad way of spelling radius. Let me try to make that a little better. Radius. That's better. Okay. So I want to be sure to use the radius. So if they give you the diameter, you're going to have to cut it in half. So I'm going to do one of each. I'm going to do one example of each. And then um, we are going to, I'm going to give you one to do for your secret problem. So the first one, my radius, I'm going to give you the radius. I'm going to tell you the radius is 9 millimeters. So we have a cylinder. Maybe it's just a small uh, marker or something. And the height is 22 millimeters. And we want to find the volume for that. So I'm just going to use my formula. And I want to see the numbers that you write down. So you're going to write down 3.14, which is pi, times 9, times 9, times 22. Now, if you know that 9 times 9 is 81, you can just write down 81 instead. So go ahead and use your calculator and multiply that out. And when I do that, I get 5,595, I'm going to round, 0.5 millimeters. And remember, we always cube for volume because we want to know how much fits inside. So we're measuring it in cubic centimeters. All right. So on my next one, and your secret word is clown. For my next one, my diameter is going to be 10. This is 10 feet. We've got a great big culvert going under a road. I want to know how much water can go into it. And the height is also 10 feet. So I have to find my volume. Now, when I look at my volume formula, it doesn't have a D for diameter, does it? I have to use the radius. So if my diameter is 10, what is my radius? That's right, it's 5. So I have pi, 3.14, times 5, times 5, times 10. And I know 5 times 5 is 25, and 25 times 10 is 250. So I'm going to just type in 250 times 3.14, and it's going to be about 750, pretty close, 785. So my volume is 785 feet squared. Now think about when it rains a lot and sometimes there's flooding. That's because um, maybe your culvert can't handle all that water going through it. Okay, I'm going to give you one more here. Here's the last one. Here's my my uh, my cylinder, and I'm going to tell you that this cylinder has a radius of 8.3 meters, and it has a height of 31 meters. So I want you to find the volume for that. I want you to write out the numbers and the answer and have it labeled. So you need all three of those things, and if you don't, you're not going to get full credit for your notes. So that's volume of a cylinder. We'll talk more about that in class. Bye.